morning it's mac with nine before and gardening and on this channel guys we love to look at beautiful gardens no matter where they are in the world no matter how large or how small we'll go to big ones we'll go to small ones but let's check out this nice nice little garden it sits here beside the town hall in this town of eldorado arkansas this is right beside the city hall it's a project of the union county master gardeners a project of the union county master gardeners this particular garden caught my eye as i was driving by it here all gardens don't have to be massive, but this is a really beautiful example of a southern garden here in the southern, southern United States. I think we're in zone 7B or we could be in zone 8. It's pretty hot and dry down here right now. The temperature in the daytime is about 100 degrees, right? But this is a summer garden. It has the best representation of all the plants that grows really well in this area in the summer. Here we have some nice little, those are like knockout roses there. And those are good. And on the front here, we have some beautiful little sweet potato vines. Now these are ornamental, they don't actually produce any type of sweet potato, but they're ornamental. What is commonly known as the elephant ear, right back there, more roses, and then the crepe myrtles, which are blooming up overhead. And you know, you could tell Master Gardeners put this together because it represents all of the best of what's growing good at this time of year and what is really looking well this time of year. And there's some coleus, and that is a beautiful color on those coleus. Those come in bicolor, multicolors, but I love that that nice red on those. Now this is a nice garden, sits right beside the city hall and it just has some really unique plants in it. You can see the bees here. And I just think it's a beautiful garden to represent what grows well in this particular zone. This is a very hot, dry zone, especially here in the middle of the summer. Some daylilies. And across the back, you can see different types of elephant ear. There are also some canna back there. This lantana is also a nice addition. And here we have a beautiful hibiscus with that burgundy red. That red really stands out here in this bright sun. Uh, that looks really good. More coleus. Blending in the colors, the predominant colors here are gonna be a bit of yellow, but mostly red, white. There are some really nice, tall lavender hollyhocks back there in the background. Those look really good as well. This garden is really filled with multiple Southern classics, especially the crepe myrtles. You see these all across the American South and they fit in this garden so well. Now this is a young garden, it's kind of set behind a retainer wall. I don't think it's been in place for very long. Over the years this may grow and fill in a bit more. There's a lot of gaps here, but I think it can fill in pretty well. There's some salvias as well, and those are beautiful. Black Eyed Susan. Now these grow really well in this, in this climate, but they have a potential to propagate. They will self-propagate, and if you don't control them, they could easily take over any type of beautiful garden. So. You definitely want to keep an eye on those. And then really ubiquitous in this area is the knockout roses. Just because they do so well, they're so pest resistant and they grow really well. And they don't take a lot from you as far as deadheading. If you want to do it, you can, but if you don't, the plant's just fine without it. Another type of canna here, another daylily. A nice addition at the end of this garden, which I would have liked to see spread across the garden, are these purple hearts. The ground covers, the perennials will come back each year, and the mass will continue to grow. So the trees add a little bit of height to this garden, uh, blocks off that wall. They put a nice wall there to hide the utilities, but it just adds a bit of color into what is otherwise a pretty mundane location. You add in a nice retainer garden like this, beautiful bedded, and it becomes so much more. Designers of this garden did a really wonderful job selecting plants that grow really well in zone 7B and zone 8. The plants are great, but I would have loved to have seen a few more added in to kind of add a bit more depth to the garden to make it a bit more whole and complete. There's a lot of gaps and a lot of spaces here. Over time, these spaces will fill in, but if you want to get that more completed and finished and full look early on, then you would definitely would have to add in at least two to three more plants. Of course, the more plants that you add in each section that may 
requires some watering and you don't want to crowd the plants, but there's plenty of space here to where you could have added more than just the usual three. Although several of the plants in this garden are drought resistant and can go many days without watering, there are several plants that really would shine more with the additional water, such as the canna and the elephant ears, and even the knockout roses to a certain degree. You really want to water those as much as you possibly can. There are three plants to keep a close eye on in this garden. First is the coleus. Although it's not a perennial, they do self-seed and they tend to come back in abundance. Next, you should really keep an eye on the lantana because they are known to propagate all across the garden. And if you don't watch them, they will be everywhere. And and finally, the Black Eyed Susan, which is a perennial and has a tendency to really self-propagate. So that has to be really watched in this garden very carefully to make sure that those plants are kept in check. And finally, with the spacing in this garden, it will be two to five years before this garden really takes on a full and completed look, where the plants are touching each other and seeming to overflow in abundance. Again, this is a project of the Union County Master Gardeners the Division of the Research and Extension Program at the University of Arkansas. It's a beautiful garden.